Hey, what's happening? So today I'm gonna to do a video. I just wanted to give you an idea here. It's gonna be all about phosphate, uh, how I'm getting the phosphate levels down. I did take and get some phosphate E for my tank. I'm gonna show you a day by day progress. I dropped it very slowly. I believe it's gonna get it right to where I want it. Uh, you know, if you don't wanna watch the whole video, just know phosphate E does work. It's definitely worth the whole, uh, all the hype. Uh, you can drop it. I, you could literally drop it overnight if you wanted to. I don't know how good that would do for your fish or corals, that type of thing, but you could actually make it happen. Uh, I do also want to mention here, I, I have recently, uh, I guess, friended another YouTuber out there. His name is Mike Bowler. Uh, he's starting out a new channel, uh, kind of like mine. It's going to be based off of the 32.5 gallon Fluval Flex. I'm going to put a link below the video here. I think you should be checking it out. He's he's just getting started. Uh, I think he's got two videos out that I've seen so far. Uh, it looks like he's going to be taking about the same route that I did. It'll be interesting to see where he goes with his tank as opposed to where I went with mine. Uh, there's a few things he's already done differently, a uh, few things he's going to approach differently. I'm kind of excited to see the result, uh, you know, to see if, if uh, his way of uh, works out uh, as as well as mine has or maybe his way will work out even better and I'll want to switch mine that way. Either way it'll give you two chances to look for the same basic type tank. It's going to be a Fluval 32.5 gallon flex. Uh, he's doing the same tank. Uh, it's going to be a reef, the saltwater version. I will put like I said a link below the video. Make sure you go check him out. Uh, also I do want to touch on base. I, I did actually have a video a while back where I mentioned the IP Vanish. Uh, the time's running out on the $5 a month, 59% off for life. Uh, they're talking like that's only going to run until the end of this month. So if you haven't already got your IP Vanish, make sure you click the link below, sign up. Uh, $5 a month, 59% off for life right now. You know, they don't know if they're going to be offering this ever again from what I've been told. Definitely get after that one. Otherwise, let's get into this video. Let's uh, check out the, the phosphates and the progress. Hopefully it's not too long and boring. I did kind of kind of a repeat day-to-day -day process here that I'm just going to put a clip on here for so you can see uh, the progress. All right, so we got just one second here. It's checking now. 0 0.90. Wow. I think it's actually went up since I started using them. Uh, I have actually been doing more feeding uh, with the mollies in there and the mollies have been growing so obviously there's more waste. I probably am going to be taking another approach on getting this phosphate level down. I just wanted to share this with you, uh, give you an idea. I, I mean as of right now I don't feel as though those pads that I bought are really worth uh, the time or the money. Uh, once I get the phosphate levels back down to a, a good level, I may put a fresh set in there and see if it helps maintain it. All right, so this is uh, phase one of me trying to get rid of my, or not rid of, but lower my phosphates to a reasonable level. Let's see where this is. 0.50. It is lower, I believe, than that video, but still pretty miserable. Uh, so here is my next idea. I'm going to try to lower it with this phosphate E and then see if I can actually see if it works like they say it does and if it does if I can actually get the uh, phosphates to where I want them and then at that point I'm going to try to do, you know, obviously maintenance, watch what I'm feeding, uh, better water changes, keep the phosphate pads in there, keep monitoring it. Uh, if it keeps elevating, uh, then I guess I'll have to see what the next step is going to be. But my first trigger here is to get the phosphates down to a, a reasonable level. Here's the starting point. All right, so what we have here now is day two. I've added uh, phosphate E twice in smaller doses than what, it, what I need to in hopes to lower it slowly. Uh, we're going to do a test here today to see. 
I kind of feel like I can already see the <clears throat> the algae is still there obviously but if you look at it it's kind of seems looser and I was in there uh, I did try to I want to do the video before so you can see it but I did go in and try to pull a couple clumps off and as you can see this rock that's normally was in previous videos covered with that stuff you see kind of here in the front uh, it's it's uh, it's kind of coming off and this is literally just in two days I don't know if it's coincident or not we're gonna gonna check the phosphates here see what's going on with it I mean the the corals and everything all look good and so let's get that check here and we'll see where the phosphates are and then we'll move on to the next step if we can so there you can see it's went from where it was down to 0.25 which is about half because I believe the last I can't remember the last reading I'll have to pull it up here I'll put it on the screen uh, but I'm gonna keep adding this then so I'm not to the next phase uh, my plan was to do, start the algae removal process after I get the phosphates under control uh, as you can see here uh, they are coming down I'm gonna give it another dose today uh, maybe even do a uh, weekly water change it's about that time for anyways might go in there and hand pluck some of this hair off I might even show you guys that here shortly uh, because it, it is coming off really easy now that the phosphates have went down it seems like that phosphate really allows it to really have a grip all right I'm not going to bore you with a lot of this I just want to kind of show you here how some of this this green now see how it just comes off in a big clump see that before I was ripping and pulling I was barely getting anything to come off well now that the phosphates are a little lower if I can get a hold of it it basically just comes off in one big chunk I'm going to go through and do this here now that the phosphates are lowering. I'm going to add some more stuff here to keep the phosphates going in the right direction. But just look at these big clumps that I'm just pulling off effortlessly. Before, I mean, I was literally having to scrub and tug. It, I mean, I've spent a lot of time on it. But I just wanted to add that to the video, show you. I'm going to do that and we'll keep going to the next phase. All right, so we're doing another test here. Uh, this will be the, well, it's either the third or fourth, I guess I'll put it on the video here, I'm, I can't remember. I did a water change yesterday and then I also added more phosphate E. Uh, so let's see where this one goes. Oh, see, every time you can't, it's, there, you can see it now. Every time you can see it's dropping at 0.17 that's the lowest I've had it here now for quite some time so I'll be adding some more tonight but you can tell if you look in the tank I was just going to show you again this is kind of a night view well not really a night view but more of a nighttime view you can tell if you look in the tank there's still obviously some areas where there's some hair algae floating around in there but it's less I mean I did go in and pick some out obviously but look on this rock here all that loose floppy debris that was on the rock that you see you can kind of see right here still a little on this edge but the rest of the rock it's pretty much all gone and that's just doing nothing but lowering the phosphates I haven't even got into the next part. I mean, the next phase here is uh, I was thinking about putting fluconazole in here to see if it, it'll take care of that hair and any algae I have. We'll see. I want to get the phosphates down to the level that I want them at before I do anything like that. Here's the hairy mushroom. I did move him so he's a little bit easier to see. 
kind of blends in with these blue lights. I don't have the any lens on the phone or camera right now, so. Anyways, I'm just kind of going over. One thing I did notice here, uh, you can kind of see it. Let's see if I can get on the right there. You see that little tiny green spot there? That's a good sign because that's a sign that something other than uh, bad algae is actually starting to form on the rock. I know it's a pretty small spot to get excited about, but it is actually a positive. I do have another little one over on one of these rocks over here. I can't spot it right now. In the... But as you can see, the corals all still are doing pretty dang good. Haven't had any of them that I would say that I'm upset with. But we'll do another one here. We'll do some more. I'm going to keep going with this to see how long it takes to get the phosphates where we'd like them. All right, so we gave it another dose here. We're going to see exactly what happens. <clears throat> I think that we're going to probably be pretty good. Took it down to 0.11. That's still higher than I want it, but it's way better than what I've had it in the past. The tank itself looks about the same as what I had just shown you, uh, so I'm not going to run you through that again. I guess we'll be given another dose here and we'll check it again. Alright, so I think this is going to be the day. I've been dropping it slow. Let's see where it's at. Point one five. Is that up from yesterday? Yesterday it was at point oh nine, wasn't it? Well, I guess this isn't going to be the day. I'm not sure why that jumped like that. All right, and here we go again. This is the next day's test. Look at that, 0 0.08. That is well on its way. I think one more treatment and I'll be where I need to be. And you can tell it in the tank too. I know I keep showing you this every time I do this. But if you look, you can see the hair is still in there. But you can see how the rock and stuff around the hair just seems generally cleaner and how that hair is not nearly as rigid it's more I mean I know it's hard to see on the video to appreciate it but I watch it every day here it's just real limp when you grab it uh, I haven't went in and picked it all off because I want to leave some on for the fluconazole test I want to see you give that as a really good test but you can tell this mushroom here in the last video was completely covered you weren't even able to tell it was a mushroom and that some of it's already come off. It's starting to loosen up around that grape up there. Uh, these, these green star polyps, they didn't even come out here the last day or so. They were so covered with it. But I'm going to give it another treatment. And then we'll take a look tomorrow I'm, I'm guessing that tomorrow here it's going to be right on I could have dropped this all at once real quick uh, but I, like I said I wanted to do it over the course of several days try not to shock anything any more than I had to okay so I hope that video wasn't too long and drawn out for you I just wanted to give you an idea of the process I, it was a lot of testing. Uh, every day I did a test. Every day I did a little short video to check out the, you know, what's happening in the tank to see how, you know, if the algae is depleting, if it's staying the same, if the phosphates are going down. Just to give you a kind of a running progress of what actually happens when you get your phosphates back in check. I don't have them. I think I have them down to uh, zero, uh, point zero 0.08 right now. I I have no doubt that one more uh, half a capful, a capful of that phosphate X will have them 
uh, if not 2.03 below 2, uh, 0.03 here where I want it. Uh, so I'm, I'm just going to end the video here and let you know that uh, it, it's going to continue that way. You know, definitely if you're thinking about an uh, easy way to lower your phosphates, uh, definitely I would go with the phosphate X. Or excuse me, I said that wrong. Phosphate E. Uh, it's definitely, definitely an easy, quick approach. Uh, my next video here is going to be on fluconazole. Uh, I, I'm going to try to get rid of that hair algae with fluconazole. I've watched a few other videos, heard a few other stories from different fish keepers out there, how that's kind of a miracle. You, you put it in 12 days later, your hair algae is gone. We're going to do another video similar to this over the next 12 days, monitoring that. Hopefully it's, uh, it works out. Hopefully it clears it all out and my tank gets back to square one. I'll see you next time.